Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We have an article today from Russia that claims that um, it killed about 100 foreign mercenaries in Ukraine and you know how these uh, reports are um, made. But let's see what this article claims. This article comes from Republic World from today, uh, August 15th, 2022. This is the title. Russia claims to kill over 100 foreign mercenaries in Kharkiv region amid war in Ukraine. Russian aerospace forces killed over 100 militants from Poland and Germany and wounded over 50 at a temporary deployment point in the Kharkiv region, the Russian Defense Ministry said on Monday. I think this is very odd. Um, because uh, yesterday the Ukrainians claimed that they destroyed a very important headquarters of a uh, Wagner group you know the contractor private contractor company the Russian private contractor company that the Western countries are calling a uh, mercenary but uh, Blackwater in the United States is not a mercenary it's just a private contractor company so it's uh, it's back to back here so those guys said well we killed the uh, leaders of Wagner group or at least the headquarters because no uh, casualties were reported and now we have the Russians uh, stating uh, after not even 24 hours that hey by the way we killed some mercenary mercenaries here in uh, Kharkiv huh well what can you do just uh, believe them right <laughs> Russian aerospace forces killed over 100 militants from Poland and Germany. How do they know that? They got information, I'm guessing, ahead of time. Uh, because I don't think they pushed the front uh, westward in order to figure that out. And I'm quoting, high precision weapons of the Russian aerospace forces hit a temporary deployment point for the foreign mercenaries near the settlements of Zolochiv, Kharkiv region. Over a hundred militants from Poland and Germany were killed and more than 50 wounded, said the ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov at the daily briefing. Konashenkov also reported a number of strikes on Ukrainian forces in Kherson and Donetsk regions. The losses amounted to 160 people in Kherson and 260 in the Donetsk region, respectively, Konashenko said. The claim could not be independently verified. The Russian Defense Ministry also released footage on Monday of what it says was combat work of the Iskander Operational Tactical Missiles Systems in the Western Military District delivering strikes against the military infrastructure of the armed forces of Ukraine. But um, aren't we told every day by the Ukrainian uh, mass media that uh, the Russians are destroying uh, uh, residential areas, hospitals, and the victims are always children and how do you call it? citizens, um, no a collateral damage, no military. And these guys here, they say that they uh, strikes again military infrastructure of armed forces of Ukraine. Uh, Iskander refers to high precision weapons with a range of up to 500 kilometers, 311 miles, says the accompanying text. Well, uh, they kill mercenaries, and I wonder what's going on. Uh, are there no uh, regular military to fight this uh, little war over there, or what's going on? These guys are hitting the the, Ukra the Russians, uh, Wagner Group. The other guys are uh, destroying the uh, mercenaries from Poland and Germany. What's a, what an odd uh, combination, marriage, Poland and Germans. <laughs> As like you say, Romanians and Hungarians are fighting uh, alongside <laughs> for a common uh, good. Uh, yeah, they did, but not very happy, happily. So uh, I read some articles here in uh, 
provided by the Ukrainians and some articles claim that the Russians are retreating and uh, I think one of the areas where they said that they're retreating was Kherson um, and Donbass. Another article I, uh, I read, uh, I looked over, I didn't get into that, I just uh, read the title and it was uh, coming from uh, the Great Britain, uh, uh, from the British intelligence services and they claim that uh, the Russians will not be able to take over after all uh, the region of um, Donbass all, so isn't they're not going to be able to take over the entire region now here this uh, bombardment was in um, Donbass region right and uh, it seems like uh, the Russians are still having having at least uh, missiles and rockets to uh, use over there but the fact that there are according to the Russian communique, there are at least 150 uh, foreign fighters or mercenaries, however you want, or they call them that way, at this uh, temporary you know, point where they just come together and then from there they are sent in different units and so on, uh, then um, that tells me that Ukrainians are not really you know, on a running foot towards Kiev either. So they are bringing uh, resources, human resources here, uh, not the ones that hire you, but this one, they hire the foreign fighters. And uh, it's strange that they are still there. The Russians also uh, claimed um, claim about uh, maybe a month ago or so, two months ago, that, uh, I don't know, time passes so fast. Um, they don't remember if it's a month ago, two months ago, but uh, between a month and two months that the mercenaries, the foreign mercenaries, that's how they call them, the foreign fighters that uh, sign up, signed up on the Ukrainian side uh, to fight in Ukraine against the Russians, I don't know, were about uh, 6,000 or something and then uh, some of were eliminated and the rest, that was the, the claim, the rest left because, I don't know, they didn't like what they saw or something. And now we see here that actually these guys are still there and uh, uh, ready to fight. So it's, uh, you know, you, you take it uh, day by day and uh, you report whatever these guys say, but then you, you, you ask questions because they don't really make sense or they don't provide uh, the whole story and therefore you have um, unanswered pieces of uh, you know, questions and uh, questions and then the, those answers come with time. Like when these guys claim, oh, they all left, uh, no more foreign fighters and now at least 150 uh, damaged, uh, 100 gone and 50 with wounds. So, uh, and, and, but as I said, it's very coincidental, very strange that yesterday the Ukrainians destroyed the mercenary Wag Wagner group. Now today this way, these guys destroyed the Ukrainian mercenary, blah, 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 blah. Uh, <clears throat> could that be possible? Yes, of course, could be possible. Is that uh, very possible? No, I don't think so. We don't, we, do, we don't hear this kind of reports every day, but all of a sudden, boom, <laughs> in a 12 hours uh, time span, we hear about the same subject. We may hear from these guys for about, what, two or three weeks killing mercenaries? And oh well, what can you do? <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.